Hundreds of Afghans who've worked with the South Korean government in the past will arrive here in the nation after being evacuated from their home country. This comes as the international community is scrambling to get their nationals and certain locals out following the Taliban's takeover. Yoon Jung-min has our top story. A total of 391 Afghan nationals are due to arrive at South Korea's Incheon International Airport on Thursday on board Korean military planes after a stopover in Islamabad. They are people who have worked with the Korean government in the past, along with their families, reportedly including 100 children. All of them were safely evacuated from Kabul to Islamabad on Wednesday. Originally, 427 locals needed to be brought to Korea, but 36 of them have reportedly decided either to stay or move to a third country. It was South Korea's first mass evacuation of foreigners out of another country. The Korean government says these people have worked with South Korea for years in Afghanistan at the embassy, hospitals and vocational training centers. They asked the local Korean embassy for help due to concerns about the Taliban's possible retaliation. President Moon said that it is a must to carry out this moral responsibility to Afghans who have helped us and that it is meaningful. He said he thanks the Korean people for their understanding and cooperation. The ministry says the Afghans will not be given refugee status but instead will be treated as people with special merit. Upon arrival, they'll first be tested for COVID-19 and will reportedly be sent to local government facilities in Chungcheongbuk-do province. Sources say the Korean government has been closely communicating with friendly countries, including the U.S., for that mission. And because it was almost impossible to get into Kabul airport due to the massive crowds, the U.S. reportedly came up with the idea of using local buses to help the evacuees get in. There are very bad situations in Kabul airport. Uh, as the Korean people, they are very trying hard night or uh, days to uh, carry us inside. And it's work. Uh, I, I want to say thanks for all of the team of Korean people in Kabul. Because private planes were not able to enter the country, Korea sent military planes to Pakistan on Monday and have traveled back and forth several times from Islamabad to Kabul to transport the Afghans. Yoon Jung-min, Arirang News.